Good evening, everyone. Good evening. I'm just going to ask if everybody can turn off their cell phones. Uh, please take a moment, turn off your cell phones. Can you hear me? No. Test, test. Hello? Can you hear me? No. Good evening, everyone. <clears throat> Guys, have everyone's attention. I'm um, just going to ask if you can please uh, silence your cell phones. If you have a cell phone, just please silence your cell phone so it doesn't go off during the ceremony. Um, in addition, just please be respectful uh, during the ceremony. Please refrain from talking. Um, again, cell phones, and just please refrain from talking during the ceremony. We're about to get started uh, with our graduation ceremony. Thank you.
Good evening, and welcome to the commencement ceremony for the class of 2022 of Cathedral Preparatory School and Seminary. Seniors are asked to remain standing and to remove their caps. At this time, Senior Nicholas Giovanni Di Francesco will lead us in singing America the Beautiful, which can be found in the materials you received at your chairs. Thank you, Nicholas. Please remain standing as I take this opportunity to introduce Father Christopher Bethji, member of the Cathedral Faculty and Diocesan Vocation Director, who will call us to prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Almighty God, we call upon you this evening as we gather here in this Cathedral of St. James. We come this night to this Cathedral to give thanks for Cathedral, a place like no other, a school, a home, a family. We ask your blessing tonight on these our graduates that at every step they know your love, and then every difficulty they know that you are with them. We come tonight to give thanks for what has been, but we come tonight with hope for what will be. We ask tonight that your blessing be upon all of us who are gathered here, that everything we do begin with your inspiration, continue with your help, and under your guidance, reach a successful conclusion. We ask this as we ask all things through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Graduates, please replace your caps, and all are asked to please be seated. At this time, Father James Caroli, Rector President of Cathedral Preparatory School and Seminary, will welcome us.
I have the great privilege and honor of welcoming you to the graduation exercises for the class of 2022. We come with mixed emotions. While there is sadness in our farewell, we experience tonight tremendous joy and gratitude. Four years ago, these young men entered cathedral with a goal. And tonight, with God's grace, that goal has been achieved. Tonight, I welcome and thank so many who have been used as God's instruments to help these men achieve the highest of goals. Tonight I am joined in the sanctuary by Bishop Robert Brennan, Bishop of Brooklyn. His presence at Cathedral since being installed and his presence tonight enhances our joy. With him I welcome and thank our administration Mr. Richie Diaz, our principal, Deacon Phil Franco, our assistant principal, and Mr. Peter Samarco, our dean of students. I also welcome members of our faculty and staff, coaches, and those who work day in and day out to make Cathedral Prep the vibrant school that it is. A special welcome to Father Joseph Fonti, former rector of Cathedral Prep, who accepted these young men to Cathedral and served as their rector for their freshman year. Truly, I stand on the shoulders of greatness. Tonight, I am also honored to welcome the members of our Board of Trustees, the Alumni Board, and generous benefactors and friends of Cathedral, including Mr. Steve Summers. I welcome alumni, our current students, distinguished guests and members of the clergy, including Monsignor Sean Ogle, Vicar of Clergy, and Father Joseph Holcomb, Rector of Cathedral Seminary House of Formation, all who serve and support Cathedral Prep in so many different ways. Our graduation would not be possible without the love and care and support and presence of the parents of our graduating class. Parents, you deserve this night too. Tonight, we express our gratitude and our love for you and to you. Thank you for the trust and for the sacrifices that you have made in these four years to send your son to Cathedral. As it is written, and I'm paraphrasing, sacrifice can often be difficult. Love makes it easier, and true love can make it a joy. And tonight, there is much joy. Along with them, and the graduates of our parents, are the family and friends, and neighbors, and all who are part of the extended Cathedral family you are most welcome. I would be remiss if I did not remember those who have gone before us, our faithful departed, parents of our graduates and grandparents, faculty members, family and friends and neighbors. Tonight, we remember them, and we most especially feel their presence in this holy place. Finally, I welcome you, the graduating class of 2022. You know my deep appreciation and affection for each of you. I join you in thanking Almighty God because you have made Cathedral a better place. And Cathedral Prep has helped you to be who God has created you to be a man for greatness. Gentlemen, welcome to your graduation.
At this time, we invite Damiano Giusto Catone, who will be attending St. Joseph's University in the fall, to deliver our salutatorian address. <laughs> wow. Uh, first, I'm going to begin by saying good evening to Bishop Brennan, Father Crowley, Mr. Diaz, faculty, staff, family, and friends of the Cathedral Prep Class of 2022. I am here to welcome all attending the graduation of the greatest Cathedral Prep Class to ever attend this school. Before I begin, I would like to give Father Crowley, Mr. Diaz, and Deacon Franco, and all the faculty, for selecting me as their 2022 salutatorian out of all the other qualifying candidates. Graduating as either the salutatorian or valedictorian and coming to speak to those attending my graduation ceremony was always a dream and a goal of mine. And now I'm here speaking to all of you as a class of 2022 salutatorian. I personally do not enjoy boring speeches, so I promise you I'm going to try and not bore you guys. But I'm going to first of all begin with once again welcoming you to the Class of 2022 Cathedral Preparatory School and Seminary Graduation Ceremony. I want to begin by acknowledging all of my classmates for their diligence, persistence, and determination to be the best versions of themselves every single day. So please, before I continue, I would just like a round of applause to the Class of 2022 because we finally made it. As many of you already know, our school motto is meant for greatness. And if I were to look back out of all the graduating classes of Cathedral Prep, I can proudly say that the class of 2022 are the poster boys for that motto. We are not meant for greatness, rather we are meant for greatness. Greatness is an, ine is an inevitable achievement that will flourish to the class of 2022 for the rest of our lives because this is just a great bunch of guys. When I first announced to my friends in my neighborhood that I was attending Cathedral Prep, I was actually the first one to announce it to everybody because I kind of knew already where I was going before anybody else. And nobody knew what it was, where it was, or if it was even a school or not. And I was brutally made fun of for, for going to an all boys school and nobody really, I guess, understood my, my choice, but I had my reasons and I, I'm 100% I'm thankful and grateful for the opportunity to attend such an amazing school and I will, I will cherish every moment that I had in this school for the rest of my life. And actually one of the students who made fun of me for coming to the school is sitting here with a cap and gown right now graduating with me. <laughs> so I, I'm not going to name drop him but I just wanted to, I promised him that I would, I would call him out for it indirectly. Um, in my freshman year we were just a bunch of guys who had our own unique egos that we all wanted to, our, to display, along with our new acts that our mommy just packed in our bags, because we all stunk. If I, I swear, if you guys smelled that locker room, you would never have wanted to see that school again. But just to tell you guys that there was tension between all of us is honestly an understatement. There was, nobody really liked each other. I'm gonna be honest with you, nobody really enjoyed each other's presence. But I guess as we just stood with each other and, and, and laughed with each other and learned each other for a little bit, we all mended in, in a way that I, I never would have expected. And I, I can honestly call all of these guys my brothers. And this is a brotherhood that nobody would ever know or ever experience unless you ever actually attended our school. And I really wish you guys you know, experienced that with somebody in your lives or a group of friends in your lives. But now I'm sitting here, you know, kind of boasting about my class and without any sort of evidence or proof. So let me sort of enlighten you. The class, the 2021-2022 the Cathedral Prep Varsity Basketball Team, after almost 20 years, broke the curse and went undefeated in our division, crowning us CHSAA Division B champs, and we went on to be CHSAA Division B city champions. And I'm proudly standing here as the captain. <laughs> As I sat back and, you know, kind of tried to form a speech for all of you, I, I, uh, I really just noticed that there was never a dull moment. There was never uh, a day where we didn't make a memory or 
you know, we didn't kind of have fun. I don't, I don't think there was ever a single day. Whether Brian was causing a ruckus in Queen Center Mall, or it was just an obnoxious noise that we made up and we were just yelling out every class, or Miss Peluso was screaming at us every five minutes because we weren't listening. There was just never a dull moment in the hallways from freshman year all the way to the end of senior year. And I, I, I don't know, I just, like, I, I, I sit back and I'm like, wow, this was just an amazing four years that I never, ever expected. But just like in every ordinary high school, you always have people that kind of, you know, side with their groups of friends. You know, sort of the athletes stay with the athletes and the guys who really enjoy school more than others stay with the guys who enjoy school more than others. But just like any ordinary, high, uh, unlike any ordinary high school, you don't see it in our school that those groups come together. Like any, I, I, I've never seen that before in my life. I mean, everybody kind of just sides with one another, but with our school, those groups of athletes and kids who like video games and kids who like any, uh, whatever it may be, just when it was time to come together, we all came together. And that is something that I would cherish for the rest of my lives. For the rest of my life, and I, I, I hope that all of you cherish it and, and, and memorize that and, and, and always remember that. But I don't think it came from just, you know, being with one another. Also, unlike any other ordinary high school, we attended Mass every day, and we also had Holy Hour on every Thursday. And I think that honestly played a big role in our, in our spiritual maturity and, and our maturity in general. Just having some time alone in the middle of the day and kind of, you know, sitting back and, and unwinding kind of made you think about what you may have done or, or, or what you have to do. And I think that helped all of us mature. And you'll never see that in another high school. I don't think another high school ever attends mass every other day or every day, even in, other, in any ordinary Catholic school. I think we're the only ones. And I, I honestly, a lot of people say, yeah, right, you're, you don't, you're never going to want to go to that ever again. But I honestly, as cliche as it may sound, I really am going to miss going to mass every day. Um, now that I spoke about high school, I'm, I'm going to take this speech into a different tone. Um, about two weeks ago, many of you may, or may already know, but my father suddenly passed away. And um, it has been extremely hard for me to wrap around the fact that my father's not with me anymore. You know, and I can't hug my father, I can't talk to my father, I can't joke with my father. If many of you know my father, he was the biggest jokester, uh, uh, he was just, you know, he always loved to, I, I, I don't know if I could use this word, bust your chops, I guess, I don't know. He just, he just always loved to, you know, make you f not feel bad about yourself, but, in, you know, lighten up the room. And he was just the life of every party. And he forever will be. He always will be the life of every party. But I'm saying this not because I really want to vent to you guys about this, because I've done a lot of venting to my mom and my brother and all my family. But my father was simply not my father. He was my hero, and he was my idol. He was the only person I ever looked up to every single day, and I will forever look up to him every single day of my life, even though he may not be with me. But the 18 years that I spent with him, he was just everything to me. My father was, in my opinion, many of you may not have met him, but he was the greatest man to walk this earth. And when I hear the man, uh, men for greatness, I, the first person that comes to my mind is my father. And I think of my father, a funny, loving, caring, affectionate, diligent and very, very, very intelligent man. And I can only thank him for the way I am today. And while of course I am going to thank Father Caroli, Mr. Diaz and Deacon Franco for officially announcing me salutatorian, I would have never been announced salutatorian without his guidance. Um, I would have never been announced captain of the basketball team or any sort of leadership title that has ever put on, that has ever been put out upon me without my father. Um, the morals and the ethics that he has instilled in me throughout my whole life will just be the foundation that I will build upon forever. He always taught me that it doesn't really cost anything to be nice to people. Um, any sort of wise saying you may think of, my father just instilled in me. Whatever you do, always give it 100%. I mean, just endless amounts of you know, knowledge, wisdom, advice that is just going to be burned into my head for the rest of my life. And I'm going, like I said, I'm going to be tooting my own horn for a little bit. But out of every reward and, and accolade or achievement that I have ever achieved, I can proudly say that the greatest award that I have ever received was being able to say that my father was Santo Caton. And through these past weeks, I have been extremely pensive. I have just been stirring in my own thoughts. I've, 
you know, writing the speech was a little bit tough because I just kept thinking about my father, the only person who really wanted to hear the speech, the one person who cried when I told him I was salutatorian. He just, he was so proud of me always, and he, I know forever he will be proud of me. But I just want to share one piece of advice with all of you. Social media, I think, distracts all of us from the important things in our lives. And I know you all sit there and swipe through Instagram, swipe through TikTok, post something on Facebook or whatever it may be. You sit there and watch, you know, your 40 minute Netflix shows and you binge watch and whatever you may be doing. But just a little piece of advice. Take those 45 minutes or whatever time you are, you know, just doing, spending nothing that, or, or swiping through Instagram or whatever it may be that brings honestly no value to your life. But give your loved ones a call. Sit back for a moment and, and, and kind of acknowledge them for being in your life because I, I wouldn't trade anything in this world just to talk to my father for five more seconds and tell him, hey dad, just thank you for everything. You know, you were the best thing that ever happened to me and I, 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 don't, I don't know what I would do just to even hear him say, I love you too. So if you guys can just please, I just hope this somewhat touches you and somewhat motivates all of you because life is honestly too short and life will forever be too short. And my father was taken at 52 and he had a whole lifetime ahead of him and I had a whole lifetime ahead of him with me. You know, he was supposed to see my first child, see me get married, you know, come with me to get my first car and everything that I, you know, a man should ever go through. And he's not with me and he will be with me in spirit, but I will never be able to see him and hug him again. So if you guys could just please, if you guys just get two minutes in your day, call your mother, your father, your brother, your sister, your cousin, your best friend, whoever is just dear to your hearts and just take a moment and tell them you love them and don't hold grudges. Never hold grudges because you just never know when they're going to get taken away. Trust me, God works in mysterious ways. And my father always told me that you have a plan and God has a plan, but your plan never counts. And it's the truth because I never expected my father to ever leave me at this time. So please just take a moment. And I hope I didn't bore all of you with that speech, but I'm going to end off by saying thank you. Thank you all of my teachers and administrators for guiding me, especially Ms. Cataludo. She was always there for me. She always stood by me, always made sure I was okay, even though I sort of bottled everything in in school. She always came up to me and made sure that I was, you know, in, in the right path. Thank you to my coaches for an amazing four years, and, and what a way to end it off on a championship. I think that was, just, that was just the cherry on top for my senior year. Thank you to all my brothers. It was honestly a memorable four years and a time of my life that I will never forget. And I know everybody always says keep in touch, but I'm serious. We have to keep in touch. I don't think I ever met such a great group of guys before, and I honestly love every single one of you for your own reasons. You guys are just an awesome group of guys, and I will forever cherish our friendship. Thank you, God, for blessing me with an amazing family always guides me and supports me with any sort of situation or obstacle in my life. My family's sitting here right now. My cousin Vincent is actually here from Florida. I'm happy he stood by because I hated when he left. He left the whole family, ditched us all. But I, I'm, I, my, I, I will forever be grateful for my family, and I, and I hope that you guys are grateful for your family as well. And finally, thank you, for my, thank you to my father for being my hero. I love you with my whole heart and soul, Dad, and I will always strive to make you proud. Thank you all for coming, and welcome to the Cathedral Prep 2022 graduation ceremony. May God bless you all. Thank you, Damiano. <clears throat> At this time, our seniors are asked to please stand as diplomas will be awarded to the class of 2022. When a name is called, the senior is asked to please come to the sanctuary to receive his diploma from Bishop Brennan and Father Caroli. Graduates are asked to remain standing once they receive their diplomas and return to their pews. All guests are asked to please remain in their seating pews and all are asked to please make appropriate applause and acknowledgement when a name is announced. The Cathedral Preparatory School and Seminary, Class of 2022. Nicholas Patrick Abernathy.
Anthony Josue Alviar. Frank J. Angerano. Patrick Thomas Arovanen. Tomas Baginski. Mihail Beglarian. Derek Bustillo. Peter J. Cardenas. Kevin Anthony Chauka Oriana. Damiano Justo Catone. <laughs> Nicholas Giovanni Di Francesco. <laughs> Stuart De Leon. Emmanuel Faustin. Joseph Patrick Fitzgerald. Brian Michael Flannery. Matthew Peter Gallagher. Vincent Warren Gallagher. Nicholas Guillen. David Emmanuel Guzman. Michael Patrick Hammock. David Hanna. <laughs> Joshua Daniel Jara. Joshua Leonard Lal. Robert J. Lesser. Alexis J. Martinez Gill. (laughs) 
Justin A. Mateo. Shane Thomas McAvoy. Owen Patrick Moran. Sean Moran. Carlos Eduardo Oriana Estrada. Santiago Jose Pinzon. Melvin Gerald Gresha Pragan. James Emmanuel Reyes. Mark Joseph Rebez. Mauricio Javier Rivera. Brandon Lee Rosa. Isaiah Santiago. Lorenzo Antonio Travato. Gabriel Andres Valverde. John Anthony Angel Van Wallendale. <laughs> Jerry Benjamin Vishne. James Thomas Walker. At this time, the graduates may move their tassels from right to left. Congratulations to the class of 2022.
the, the class of 2022 may now be seated. <clears throat> Congratulations, gentlemen. Regents Diplomas, we are proud to announce that every graduate of the class of 2022 is awarded a New York State Regents Diploma. Please join us in congratula congratulating the class for this achievement with a round of applause. <clears throat> Advanced Regents Diplomas. An Advanced Regents Diploma is awarded to those students who have successfully passed Regents examinations in English, Global Studies, U.S. History, and all required sequences of science and mathematics. The following students are asked to stand when their name is called as we recognize their achievement of a New York State Advanced Regents Diploma. Please hold your applause until all names are announced for the section. Nicholas Patrick Abernathy, Frank J. Angerano, Patrick Thomas Arovian, Tomas Beginski, Mihail Beglarian, Derek Bustillo, Peter J. Cardenas, Kevin Anthony Chakwa Oriana, Damiano Giusto Catone, Nicholas G. DeFrancesco, Stuart De Leon, Emmanuel Faustin, Joseph Patrick Fitzgerald, Brian Flannery, Matthew Peter Gallagher, Vincent Warren Gallagher, Nicholas Guillen, Michael Patrick Hammock, David Hanna, Joshua Daniel Jara, Joshua Leonard Lull, Robert J. Lesser, Alexis J. Martinez Gill, Justin A. Mateo, Shane Thomas McAvoy, Owen Patrick Moran, Sean Moran, Carlos Eduardo Oriana Estrada, Santiago Jose Pinzon, Melvin Gerald Gresha Pragan, James Emmanuel Reyes, Mauricio Javier Rivera, Brandon Lee Rosa, Lorenzo Antonio Travado, Gabriel Andres Valverde, John Anthony Angel Van Wallendale, Jerry Benjamin Vishne, and James Thomas Walker. Congratulations. Please be seated. The New York State Biliteracy Award. For the first time ever, Cathedral Preparatory School and Seminary students in the class of 2022 took upon the challenge of earning the New York State Seal of Biliteracy on their high school diplomas. This Seal of Biliteracy is an award given by New York State in recognition of students who have studied and attained proficiency in two or more languages by high school graduation. The intent of the SEAL is to encourage the study of languages, to identify high school graduates with language and biliteracy skills, to provide universities with additional information about applicants seeking admission and placement, to prepare students with 21st century skills, to recognize the value of language instruction, and to affirm the value of diversity in multilingual society. The following students are asked to please stand in their places to be recognized for achieving this outstanding and competitive honor of the New York State Seal of Biliteracy on their high school diplomas. Melvin Gerald Gresha Pragan in Tagalog. Tomas Baginski in Polish. Kevin Anthony Chakwa Oriana in Spanish. Nicholas Giovanni Di Francesco in Spanish. Santiago J. Pinzon in Spanish. Gabriel Antonio Valverde in Spanish. And Jerry Benjamin Vishne in Spanish. 
Congratulations, gentlemen. <laughs> honors. The following students are asked to stand as we recognize their achievement of academic honors upon completion of their four years of study at Cathedral Prep. A bronze honor cord is achieved when a student has a cumulative grade point average between 85 to 89 over all four years of study at Cathedral Preparatory School and Seminary. The following students have, have earned a bronze cord and recognition for their four years of study. Kevin Anthony Chakwa Oriana, Nicholas Giovanni Di Francesco, Stuart De Leon, Brian Michael Flannery, Vincent Warren Gallagher, Nicholas Guillen, Joshua Daniel Jara, Robert J. Lesser, Alexis J. Martinez Gill, Mauricio Javier Rivera, and John Anthony Angel Van Wallendale. Congratulations, gentlemen. A silver honor cord is achieved when a student has a cumulative grade point average between 90 to 94 over four years of study at Cathedral Preparatory School and Seminary. The following students have earned a silver cord and recognition for their four years of study. Nicholas Patrick Abernathy, Derek Bustillo, Emmanuel Faustin, Joseph Patrick Fitzgerald, Shane Thomas McAvoy, Carlos Eduardo Oriana Estrada, Santiago Jose Pinzon, James Emmanuel Reyes, and Jerry Benjamin Vishne. Congratulations, gentlemen. <laughs> gold Honor Cord. A gold honor cord is achieved when a student has a cumulative grade point average between 95 to 100 over four years of study at Cathedral Preparatory School and Seminary. The following students have earned a gold cord for recognition for their four years of study. Frank J. Angerano. <laughs> Tomas Beginski. <laughs> Mihail Beglarian. <laughs> Peter J. Cardenas. Damiano Giusto Catone. Michael Patrick Hammock. David Hanna. Joshua Leonard Lal. Sean Moran. Melvin Gerald Gresha Pragan. Mark Joseph Ribes. Brandon Lee Rosa. Gabriel Antonio Valverde. And James Thomas Walker. Congratulations, gentlemen. You may be seated. Awards and scholarships. As to the awarding of scholarships, we ask you to please take a moment and refer to your program to note the various scholarships and award offers that our graduating class received. Cathedral Preparatory School and Seminary is proud to announce that the 42 members of the, gla the class of 2022 earned a total of $17,531,034 in total scholarship and award money offers.
Cathedral Prep is extremely proud of these 42 men for their hard work over four years that earned them these awards. In total, these 42 young men earned 251 scholarship and award offers. Congratulations to all of our graduates. <laughs> Special awards. In addition, Cathedral Preparatory School and Seminary and the Diocese of Brooklyn have recognized the achievements of our students through the following special awards. When a name is announced, the award winner is asked to please come receive his award from Bishop Brennan and Father Caroli. The Tablet All Scholastic Award. Sponsored by our diocesan newspaper, the Tablet All Scholastic Awardee is a student who exemplifies not only academic excellence, but more importantly, Christian leadership, involvement, and responsibility. The Tablet Annual All Scholastic Award is proudly presented to Sean Moran. The St. John Bosco Award. The St. John Bosco Award is given in recognition of outstanding character, personality, and interaction with others. This award is proudly presented to Brian Slim Flannery. The St. John Vianney Award. The St. John Vianney Award is given in recognition of outstanding academic improvement, excellence, and perseverance. This award is proudly presented to Isaiah Santiago. The Blessed Pier Giorgio Frassati Award. The Blessed Pier Giorgio Frassati Award is given in recognition of outstanding dedication to the Lord's call to individual greatness and his call to always strive for the highest goals. This award is proudly presented to Joshua Leonard Lal. The Mr. Russo Award. The Mr. Russo Award is given in recognition of outstanding commitment to academic excellence over four years of study. This award is proudly presented to David Hanna. The St. Michael the Archangel Award. The St. Michael the Archangel Award is given in recognition of outstanding protection and outward presentation of our school's core Catholic values. This award is proudly presented to Frank J. Angerano. The Bishop's Award. The Bishop's Award is given in recognition of outstanding commitment to carrying on the legacy of Cathedral Prep and its foundational qualities of faith, formation, and academic excellence. This award is proudly presented to Melvin Gerald Gresha Pragan.
the St. Joseph the Worker Award. The St. Joseph the Worker Award is given in recognition of outstanding work ethic and loyalty to his family and his brothers at Cathedral Prep. This award is proudly presented to Santiago Jose Pinzon. Subject Awards. Subject awards are awarded to students excelling in academic subjects during their four years of study at Cathedral Preparatory School and Seminary. The English Award is proudly presented to Michael Patrick Hammock. The History Award is proudly presented to Sean Moran. The Latin Award is proudly presented to James Emmanuel Reyes. The Mathematics Award is proudly presented to Tomas Beginski. The Spanish Award is proudly presented to Frank Angerano. The Science Award is proudly presented to James Thomas Walker. The Theology Award is proudly presented to Mihail Beglarian. General Excellence Medals. General Excellence Medals are awarded to the top three academically ranked students of the class of 2022. The Bronze Medal is presented to a young man who has earned an overall grade point average after four years of study of 98.34, ranking him third in his class. The Bronze Medal is proudly presented to Tomas Beginski. The silver medal is presented to a young man who has earned an overall grade point average after four years of study of 98.37, ranking him second in his class. The silver medal is proudly presented to Sean Moran. The gold medal is presented to a young man who has earned an overall grade point average after four years of study of 99.17, ranking him first in the class. The gold medal is proudly presented to Joshua Leonard Law.
Interscholastic Awards. The three major athletic awards are given to students that overall have excelled in athletics over four years and, represents, and represent what it means to be a man for greatness. The Brian Payne Sportsman of the Year Award is proudly presented to Carlos Eduardo Ed Oriana Estrada. The Monsignor Bannon Scholar Athlete Award is proudly presented to Joshua Leonard Law. The Jim Dilge Athlete of the Year Award is proudly presented to John Anthony Angel Van Wallendale. The Competitor of the Year Award is proudly presented to Nicholas Guillen. Congratulations to all of our awardees. Recognition of our seminarians. Each day at Cathedral Prep, our young men discern God's call in their lives. This leads men down a variety of paths as they follow the voice of the Lord. This year, two of our men have discerned a further step toward priesthood, as both Mark Ribes and David Emmanuel Guzman walk further on the journey and enter into the college seminary. At this time, we invite Mark Ribes and David Emmanuel Guzman to please come forward to receive a special gift from Bishop Brennan and Father Caroli. Valedictorian address. At this time, we invite Joshua Leonard Law, who will be attending Stony Brook University in the fall, and who had the distinct honor of being struck out, not once, but twice by Father Caroli in the senior faculty softball game to deliver our valedictorian address. a lot of people. Okay. Whew. Good evening, Bishop Brennan, Father Caroli, Mr. Diaz, Deacon Franco, priests, faculty, staff, and all the family and friends of the class of 2022. I can't, you know, express how honored and proud I am to speak on behalf of such a distinguished and accomplished class, and, you know, it, it really is an honor. Uh, me and my brother, Damiano, we've been working you know, really hard these last four years, and we are very proud of the efforts that we've put through, and, you know, we're very honored that we get to speak to you today. You know, when finally thinking about a day like this, the words, we finally made it, you know, just keep playing in my head over and over again. But 
you know, how can it not? This, this is something that we've talked about and dreamt about since freshman year. And if you ask me, I think it's safe to say that since then, we've set a very, very high bar for future classes. And we just continue and continue to exceed. Over the past four years, we've worked hard day by day to excel and have never stood down from a challenge. All of the stress and the sleepless nights have led up to this moment right here. But none of this could have been possible without the love and support from our families, friends, teachers, and most importantly, God. Being a cathedral, we're given the opportunity to discover our relationship with God and what he has planned for us in our own way. Whether it be going to mass every day, being in adoration, or even just you know, praying together, we've all been able to encounter God in our own way and we've all grown closer to him in our own way. As we move on to our next steps in life, I feel as though we should all keep in mind that God does strengthen us in everything that we do every day. On days that we feel down, we feel alone, we feel hopeless, we should always try to remember that God is right there with us. You know, there might be moments where, you know, we, we, I feel like sometimes we don't realize we might not appreciate God as much as we should, but in moments that, you know, we're down, we need to realize that he is there with us, fighting with us. I would first, I'm going to get all the thank yous out of the way. My first thank yous would be to the administration. Thank you to Father Caroli for always being a father figure in all of our lives and for always motivating and inspiring us. You're always there to offer us a word of advice and support, even when we don't think that we need it. On days where I'm tired or I feel as though like I need a break, I have always, always enjoyed taking a nap during all of his homilies. <laughs> Thank you for also not being mad at us when Shane decided to put his hand through a glass door and cut his whole hand open. You know, that really shows how much you care and have patience. Thank you to Mr. Diaz for being an amazing teacher and principal and for making me read 90 pages of Challenger Deep over the course of one weekend. I think my, I can attest to my class by saying that was not fun. But seriously though, your class has taught me how to speak out more and gives me some form of confidence as I move on into college. I commend you the most for putting up with me because you and I both know that I, I like literally live to annoy you. And you know, I, I would say that I make him want to pull out his hair, but he's, you know, he's bald, so. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Still though, you are an amazing role model of what a teacher should be, and I do look up to you every day. Thank you to Deacon Franco for teaching and showing us some of the most important, impactful concepts about morality and allowing us to see and understand how our faith can play into our everyday lives in the most simple ways. I will miss being in Deacon's class and watching him, watching him teach when he actually did decide to teach. <laughs> I can proudly say that in front of hundreds of people here that I will not miss all the Bishop Barron YouTube videos that you made our class watch. Still though, Deacon's class definitely piqued my interest in theology and I am grateful his, for his teaching. We can't you know, forget though that none of our accomplishments couldn't have been possible without the love and support of our teachers. If there's anyone here that's had to put up with all our stuff and, and deal with us the most as a class, it's the men and women who have helped us grow in our education day by day. I've enjoyed all the laughs, the laughs lessons, and even all the times that you've all yelled at me, because we all know that there were a lot. I will miss it, and you know, I, I feel as though that's not something that you can just get in any school. Thank you to Mr. Gomez for always making me laugh and having a ridiculous story ready for all of us anytime we came to class. On days where I felt down, I felt as though I didn't want to be in school. You always cheer me up without even trying. Thank you to Father Betchy. You always find a way to be there for us and to show your support. We do joke, joke about all the coffee you drink, but considering all the run around, running around that you do, it, it does make sense and it is much needed. You've shown us an example of what a Christian man really is and, I inspire to be, and you inspire us to be better people every day. Lord only knows how much this man has spent on gas going to all these cathedral events. Thank you to Mr. San Marco for all the bad jokes that were somehow still funny that you make during class. And thank you to Ms. Camarda and Ms. Peluso for comforting, the loving and comforting nature that you both bring to the school. Thank you to Mr. Ruben DeSellis for always waking me up in fraternity even when I did not want to. And thank you to Ms. Cotoludo for always checking up on each and every one of us every day, always offering a word of advice and making sure that you were there for us even when we would you know, tell you to go away in our own way. We do appreciate you even though we might not you know, always show it. And thank you to every teacher that has helped me and supported me throughout my four years at Cathedral. Looking back on everything we've accomplished, it's easy to feel you know, invincible on a day like today. But 
you know, you, you can't blame us. Like Damiano said, this is, you know, one of the best classes to have graduated Cathedral. We, we do have a lot of accomplishments. I'm just going to list a few. First, we have the basketball team's championship win. Seven of our seniors attaining the New York State by Literacy Seal. My National Recognition Scholar Award. Four of my senior brothers going on to play college sports. My brother David getting into the Sophie Davis program, which is very, very, you know, difficult to get into. Two of my senior brothers going into the seminary. Abernathy getting into UA Albany's competitive law program. And majority of our class attaining a 90 average or a higher. The and the fact that our class has accumulated more scholarship money than any class has in the past 10 years. You know, if, that, if that's not a confidence booster, I don't know what is like. But don't be fooled, you know, these accomplishments were only possible through the hard work that we've all put through these four years. All of the sleepless nights and stressful moments that we've had have made these accomplishments possible. As children of God, we know that this could not have been possible without him either. Through all the prayers, love, and support of the Cathedral family, God has blessed us with the talents we possess, and we pray that he continues to guide and watch over us as we go on into college. The feeling of invincibility that we feel right now is normal, but it, it's not, you know, not temporary. It's temporary. We really can't predict the future. We don't know what's going to happen in the next 20 years, but decision, the decisions that we make do impact our lives. Like, the world is a very crazy place today. Like, like Will Smith at the Oscars is crazy. And, you know, things happen every day that, you know, we can't impact. Things happen every day to people, and we really can't predict what, what happens, whether, you know, the unfortunate shooting in Texas, whether it be what's going on in Ukraine, stuff happens, stuff happens every day. But the one thing that we can do is persist and pray. One thing I ask of all you today is to put your 110% into whatever you do in the next steps of your life. This all brings me back to something that my mom continuously tells me every day, which is nothing in life is rewarding unless you put in the time and effort. I ask that, you know, you allow this quote from Mama Law to inspire and motivate you in your everyday life. Even on days where you feel tired, hopeless, or you feel as though you can't carry on, I ask that you become your own symbol of hope and love and strength. Because I'm going to be real with you, nobody is going to do it for us. It's up to us to put in hard work, to persist, in, even in the most difficult times. And that's, you know, that's what you've all taught me these past four years. Being valedictorian is, an, is a true honor, but it wouldn't have been possible without all of you. You've all seen me at my best and worst, and you have all loved and supported me through every challenge we face. All of the laughs, the scream sessions, and the, moment, the moments that we've had together have made me into the man that I am today. You have all made me into the man I am today. I wouldn't be standing here saying this speech if it wasn't for all of you. The sense of love and brotherhood that we all share is like no other, and I will never forget it. Whether it be J.A. and David fighting after, J. Made, after David made J.A. rip his pants, whether it be making fun of Frank for voice cracking three times every period, throwing my highlands to the snow after we got out of school, or waiting for Nick G. to finally make a speech during speech class, <laughs> we've been able to create bonds with each other that surround us with nothing but love, humor, and support. We've prayed together, and we've helped each other grow in our relationship with God in our own way. These are things that, you know, will stay with us for the rest of our lives, and I hope that you all remember. But, you know, as we move on in our lives, I ask that you remember that feeling of love, support, and faith. Not many people are lucky enough to have experienced something like this, but, you know, we, we were. I'll never forget all the memories that we've made together, and I'm happy to have shared these moments with you guys. I ask that you all continue to work hard and to keep the same mindset that we've kept these past four years. Wherever your next journeys take you, I'm confident that you will all do well. The talents and gifts of this class are never ending. I know in my heart that this class will be the class that does things to change the world. I also ask that you try to keep your hardest to have God in your life. As we go on to our next steps in life, we, not, we might not be able to go to Mass every day as we do here. So I ask that you make an effort to keep God at the center of your life as Cathedral has worked hard to keep God at the center of our lives and instill values of morality in all of us. Never forget that God is our form of strength and love. Everything that we do is through Him. My request is that you allow yourself to further grow in your relationship with Him. As we look around, as we look around our world today, there's a lot of violence and turmoil and you know, people that really don't hold God at the center of their lives. And this is exactly why we need to keep God at the center of our lives, so that we can, you know, do things that impact the world and help to change the world for the better. 
I'm proud to have prayed, laughed, and even argued with all of you these past four years, and I can't wait for all your future accomplishments. To my class, it's been an honor, and I'm grateful to have stood up here with, along with our brother and salutatorian, Damiano. We hope we've made you proud through all of our hard work, and we can't express how proud we are of all of you. Congratulations, thank you, and may God bless you all. Thank you, Joshua. At this time, I invite forward Father Caroli, Rector President of Cathedral Preparatory School and Seminary, who will introduce our keynote speaker, who will address the graduates. Over the course of this year, these past months and weeks, the graduates have heard the word last many times. Their last class, their last final exam, their last test, their last report card. We spoke about the last mass in the chapel, the last game, the last run, beginning of the year, we spoke about the last retreat and the last boxing match on retreat. <laughs> and of course, the last time they can saran wrap my car and get away with it. It has been a many weeks of lasts. But tonight is also a night of firsts, as this is Bishop Brennan's first graduation at Cathedral Prep. And the class of 2022 is his first graduating class. This, his high school. And so I invite Bishop Brennan to please address our graduates. Bishop Brennan. Thank you, Father Caroli. Sitting here during graduation, seeing your rapport with one another, hearing the inspiring talks, I'm sitting there thinking, gee, I wish I were a member of the class of 2022 coming out of cathedral. <laughs> There's something amazing. And yet, to a certain extent, thanks to what Father Caroli said, I do feel a special kinship with all of you, having gotten to know you a little bit through the course of the year and this relationship that we have now, that this is my first experience of a, a cathedral graduation. I'm so proud to stand with you tonight. I'm so proud of each and every one of you. Thank you for choosing cathedral. Thank you for putting everything into it. And thank you for all your hard work that led to your accomplishments tonight. You know, it kind of, I guess it just falls, you, you just, that we're celebrating your graduation on Ascension Thursday, that we hear this, we have the Holy Day. And I'm always struck by the image of Jesus ascending into heaven and the apostles standing there as Jesus is taken up and they're looking up and the, the Acts of the Apostles says the angel of the Lord comes down and as they're standing looking up and says, my words more than the angels, hey guys, what are you doing here with your head in the clouds? Yeah, you know, what are you doing just standing here? You heard what he said, get busy. He said, get back on your knees and start praying and then get ready to do the work that he's sending you out to do. Well, you know, every once in a while, it isn't such a bad thing to stand with your head in the clouds. And tonight's a good chance to do that. Tonight's a good chance just to laugh a little, to remember a little, not to cry a little, but just to take it all in. Take in all the excitement of these last four years and the strength of the bonds of your brotherhood. It's good to keep your head in the clouds just a little bit. But doesn't that admonition of the angels say something about your cathedral prep experience? 
get busy on your knees praying. And get ready for what he is sending you to do. Through these years, you've developed a tight friendship with the Lord Jesus. And you've been listening to where he leads you. The whole purpose of cathedral prep is about vocation. Oh, certainly we have that hope of priestly vocations coming out of this class and every class out of, out of cathedral. I look forward. I'm hoping I'm going to be ordaining some of you someday soon. But I'm getting to something deeper in terms of vocation. Because your experience at Cathedral has been about to discover who God made you to be. And what is your first and most important vocation? You are a beloved son of the Father. Remember that scene when Jesus was baptized by John the Baptist and he steps out of the water and he hears that voice. You are my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. God speaks that word to each and every one of you today. Not because of your achievements, your awards, your honors, but because you are a beloved son of the Father, beloved son of God, placed here on earth for a purpose, to make something of a difference. Congratulations to you for listening for that voice. One of the choices for that second reading today comes from St. Paul's letter to the Ephesians, and he says, May the eyes of your heart be enlightened, that you may know his call. That's our prayer for you at Cathedral Prep. I'm going to conclude with a simple story tomorrow. You know, I grew up on Long Island. I come from the Diocese of Rockville Center. One of the bishops of Long Island, one of the auxiliary bishops, Bishop Emil Sella, died this week, and his funeral is tomorrow. But one of his homilies that stands out in my mind, I mean, and this goes back to my days in the seminary, so this homily is like 30-some-odd years old. But it's an image that's always stayed with me. He said, you know, life is something like driving on the Long Island Expressway. There you are, oftentimes all alone, in your own car, which is kind of like this protective gear all around you, driving competitively, watching out for the guys in the other lane, making sure nobody gets in your lane, making sure nobody gets in front of you and making your way through, pushing your way through, trying to get to where you're going as fast as you can maybe taking a few hits and bumps along the way. It's very individualistic. It's very competitive. So he said, life is something like the Long Island Expressway. By the way, not tonight, I know that. You didn't go pretty fast tonight, did you? But I'll tell you, he said, but the Long Island Expressway, you know when you spell it out, is L... I E. It's a lie. <laughs> it's a great big lie. It's not what life is about at all. And I think that somehow or another, through your four years at Cathedral, you've discovered the truth of what life is all about. It's about making that journey, but making it with purpose touching other lives, making a great difference, transforming the world around you. So yeah, look up, keep your head in the clouds today. But tomorrow, get that head out of the clouds. Get back on your knees. Keep praying. Stay close to, that, to the Lord Jesus. 
And listen carefully because he's got an adventure for you. I hope you enjoy the adventure. And I hope you enjoy every step of the way. God bless you each and every way. And I just want to say a quick word of appreciation and congratulations to all of the families who are here today. You, this is your accomplishment too. I didn't know when I came here what Cathedral was really going to be all about. I knew what it was and I knew that it was, had the, that preparation for vocation. But one of the things I discovered very quickly on my first visit is that there's something unique about Cathedral. Because in a sense, it's sadly unique. There is that sense of vocation, but it really is about what every Catholic high school needs to be. Not only a school and an administration committed to the excellence of the Catholic faith and education of the Catholic faith, but families who desire exactly that for their sons. So I take my hat off to all of you. Thank you for wanting the best for your sons. And thank you for encouraging them along the way. Gentlemen, would you please join me in offering a word of appreciation to your parents and your families. Thank you, Bishop Brennan. At this time, we are proud to once again call forward Senior Nicholas Giovanni Di Francesco, who will lead us in singing our school anthem, the Salve Regina, which can be found in the materials that you have received. All are asked to please stand. Salve Regina, Mate Misericordiae, Vita Dulcero, Et Spes Nostra Salve, A Te Clamamus, Et Sules Filiae, Te suspiramus, gementes et flentes, in lac lacrimarum vale. Ea ergo, avocata nostra, ilon suos, misericordes oculos. Nos converte, e Gesù, benedictum frutum ventri sui, nobis postoques illium, o sende. And now Bishop Brennan and Father Caroli will lead the faculty and seniors to close our ceremony. Congratulations to the class of 2022.